Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, yet another data science general Q&A question. And this question were asked basically by freshers, by college students and all. So they were had asked like, what is the better strategy for a fresher or a college student to move into data science? So this particular video will be all about this. Please make sure that you watch this video till the end. I'll actually help you out with some better strategies, which have I've seen from my, some of my subscribers who are still in college and who are passed out from college and they were able to make a successful career transition into data science. Okay. Now, uh, as a fresher guys, uh, you know, right companies, when they are hiring for data science, usually you have seen most of the profiles, at least they last for one plus years of experience or 1.5 plus years of experience. So that is the reason many freshers said that, okay, Krish, how do we move into data science recently? Uh, in iNeuron, we started a ML and DL batch. There also, there were many freshers who were saying that, Krish, how should we proceed? How should we get into data science? Because there are no such opportunities. And yes, recruit, recruiters are also asking at least one plus years of experience in data science. So let me tell you a better strategy to go ahead with, guys. So first of all, as a college student, I believe college is the best time to learn something, guys. Okay. If you are in third year, if you are in second year, start learning it, start learning data science completely. Let it be machine learning. Let it be statistics. Let it be deep learning. You really have to learn it properly and make sure that you implement a lot of end to end projects. This is the first thing. Now, once you feel comfortable with respect to your knowledge, start sharing your knowledge, write blogs, create YouTube videos, participate in different kinds of competition, participate in hackathon. Keep on applying internships. Yes, I'm telling you guys, even though you are in second year, keep on applying for internships. Internships are pretty much important. If you really have some internship experience and even though you are not one plus years of experience after you pass out, then also you will be able to get the job directly as a data scientist or data analyst. I have seen that with my own eye. I've seen some of the college students who are still there in the final year and they have done around three to four internship and now they have a permanent job, right? Understand when the company is basically looking, the company is looking at people who have at least worked something in data science. Yes, they, they give you the profile that at least you should have one plus years of experience, but understand they're more looking towards whether you have implemented anything and internship is the best way. If you are in second year, probably even though if initially you are getting an internship unpaid, just go for it. Get that particular experience. After you get that experience with the next internship, definitely you will get paid because there you'll be showing that I've already done this kind of internship and you deserve to be paid guys. Okay. So first of all, learn data science properly, not just creating models. Learn in such a way where you are understanding our maths. You are able to ask why we are doing this, how we are doing this and what we are actually doing. You really need to ask this particular questions with you, right? Stats is important. Machine learning is important. The algorithm, the maths behind those algorithm are important. How deep learning are working. It is important. Then start implementing many end to end projects. Focus on deployment, focus on completing the life cycle of a data science projects. Okay. I've seen many people, many freshers who are still focusing on model creation. No, do the complete life cycle of a data science project till the deployment, till the retraining approach. Once you have done that, participate, participate everywhere. Now, where should you participate? Kaggle, hackathon, right? Competitions, right? Uh, open source contribution. Then keep on applying on internships. Start sharing knowledge. Let it be with respect to blogs, YouTube videos. These are very, very much important. I, I usually get this many opportunities because I've been sharing my knowledge with every one of you. And there are people who comes, come to me, Krish, can you solve this for me? Krish, I have this specific use case. And yes, for solving that also, you'll be getting paid guys. Even though understand that in college days only, you'll be get, able to get so many freelancing work. Okay. There are various ways guys to, and trust me, data science is becoming very, very, very much good guys with respect to different kind of works. You will be able to get a lot of freelancing options. Even with respect to teaching, even with respect to implementing projects, even with respect to other things, people from other countries will definitely ask you to solve their problem statements and how they will come to know. Do all these things, start writing blogs, share your knowledge through YouTube, participate in different, different Kaggle competition, participate in hackathon, provide open source contribution. Right? The open source contribution is also very, very much necessary. Once you're able to do that, trust me, 
many people will see you many people will recognize you you have done such an amazing work and just by sharing that particular knowledge understand right understand like what all kind of opportunities you'll get people will try to contact you and at least when you get into one internship you will automatically know all the path guys after one internship till you come out of your final year you will be having a permanent job probably in that specific company only and in that internship you really need to perform well you need to like you need to perform in such an amazing way whatever task that is actually given because internships are very easily converted into a permanent job in those companies because they don't want to lose employee like you if you have already performed well don't worry and many freshers also say chris should we go with just startup or mnc i'm in tried three colleges guys if you have an opportunity go and work with startup within one and a one and one one to one and a half year you'll become an expert you'll become a person who is probably having six to seven years of experience you'll be doing that much amazing work i need on is a startup we had hired a fresher his name is paul and right now after two years he's an expert in vision nobody can beat him i can i can guarantee i can i can keep up any competition and tell you can come on come and beat this particular guy no one will be able to do it he's that much knowledgeable and he was at one time a fresher he explored he started doing multiple things right this is the most successful thing that you will be able to see it guys and you have to focus freshers there is no strict domain guys right now as a fresher you have multiple path to choose you can go into cloud software engineering software development data structure algorithm data science everything you can go into it okay and the other thing that is very much important also make sure that you have strong knowledge about data structures and algorithms along with competitive programming this is must because this will actually help you to become a good programmer good programmer your base will be strong you will be able to go with respect to any kind of path that you are looking at please make sure that guys you follow this particular path you follow this strategy there will be no one to stop you to get into data science or to get into any product based development company or you want to become a software engineer any role that you want but just try to follow it try sharing your knowledge guys your sharing of the knowledge is very very much important then only people will come to know more about you nowadays in the linkedin platform this is pretty much amazing where do you apply internship go ahead and see in linkedin platform there's so many jobs available even remote nowadays work from home is there completely they'll give you a assigned task you do that particular assignment and for that you really need to practice machine learning deep learning properly solve complicated use cases how do you solve it participate in kaggle participate in hackathon try to convert the kaggle competition into an end to end project try to do the deployment try to see different different types of libraries try to write blogs on this kind of things this is it guys this is a strategy that you should follow trust me you'll do it i've seen many freshers using this strategy and they are able to move into data science so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe my blogging channel guys because i'll be coming up with many many data science general q and a questions and apart from that i'll also upload motivational videos so i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye and don't forget to subscribe bye guys